blue sky is getting more and more there. That's the best we've had all day with the sun glinting over Lodge Corner. The cars accelerate up Deer Leap. The green flag is ready. The green lights are ready. And round two of the British GT Championship is go at Alton Park as they blast over the line. Dan Harper in the purple BMW looking for a gap on the inside. Maxi Goetz likewise in the blue Mercedes AMG. They dive for Old Hall Corner. One, two, three of them run a little bit wide, finding all the puddles and not much traction on the outside. Mitchell leads Gamble. Third, it is Phil Keane. Fourth is Ricky Collard. Fifth, Adam Smalley. And Callum McLeod sixth with Alex Buncombe on the outside. Yeah, look clean. There's a little bit of side-to-side -side contact, McLeod and Buncombe, but they've sorted themselves out. All the GT3s through cleanly. The GT4s also look like they've got away with everything. Gamble on the attack straight away. Round Island Bend. Bit of a break here into Shell. All the way down to second gear. Running the high line. Gamble there and the McLaren trying to get it in. Phil Keane though getting a sniff of it. That's always the problem when you're the attacker but you've also got someone behind. You can sometimes over focus on that but look not much spray in this first chicane. The switched on drivers will already be thinking about that tyre. Yep. Looking after element you said about a little bit of safety car procedure. Single file safety Safety car procedure. And that's drama at Old Hall Corner that has triggered the safety car. Sai Sanjay is off the road, I think. And we've lost one or two others, which we'll identify in a moment. Matt Nickel Jones, I think, is caught up in it, and Jordan Albert. So it was those at the back of the grid, and straight away, Peter Daly calls for the safety car. That's bad news for those with the extra compensation time, because it means they have got fewer laps in which to try to build up the time they need because they're going to be longer in the pits. If you're going to get a safety car, they want it in stint two. Yes, exactly. And it's just going to take away that little gap that we were seeing from the top three backwards. Still pushing on at the moment in this final sector until they catch the Lotus safety car leaving the pit lane. They may even get caught at the end of the last corner, depending on where the safety car was. But there are three GT4 cars stranded somewhere between turns one and two. So three cars could be a, a relatively lengthy one. Just trying to think who's going to be happy there. I think Marcello has made a decent start there. Plowman, I think, was actually the one that got forced the widest at turn one on lap one. And he looks like he's dropped down from a mega qualifying. That's a real shame for the Paddock yeah. GT3 car. So the cars come out of Deer Leap, cross the line, one lap in the book. All of these laps under the safety car will count, of course, uh, within the race duration. And there, look, out of John Ferguson's window, you can just see a car on the outside of the road coming out of Old Hall. There's more drama there. Look, he's sort of out of Old Hall, down towards Denton's, where the cars have come to grief. And into the pit lane, number 20, the Lotus then. That's Gordy Much at the wheel of it. Rear right puncture by the looks yeah. of it, or suspension issue yeah just trying to see his big damage on the front of the audi that's the first blue car on the right and the mustang with its hood popped i believe would be the correct terminology for uh, that car obviously have had some kind of coming together that early on i assume someone's looped it leaving the la the first corner sorry and has just been collected uh there looks like we've also lost charlie robertson car 71 he looks like he might be in the gravel at cascades turn number three so it's been a, a real lively start i I did check GT4s I got through turn one before I made the statement, everyone's clear. But I didn't wait another 20 metres to make sure they were clear of turn number two, so my fault on that one. But yeah, this maybe looks after these wets a little bit longer. Cars going slower, clearing less water. It just delays the time. The slicks could have been the tyre of choice as well. So I think uh, the safety car is going to be at least another six or seven minutes. Car leaving now looks all OK. Stays on the lead lap, therefore, uh, and potentially got involved in one of those skirmishes, whether the old Hall one or the Charlie Robertson one, uh, but he's able to put the new tyre on and go back into the race staying on that lead lap. It is definitely dry ink, although granted the slower speed at which we're now running does slightly trick the eye. So 35 we started with and 31 completed the first lap. So it was a fairly bruising opening lap, no problem uh, in saying that as uh, Mark Lemmer ponders what this is going to do now to his two cars, both of which have to serve a longer pit stop having had their success in race one. Yeah, really tough, but obviously it's always a positive that you've got that compensation time. Uh, it's the best way to start the year. Mark Lemmer himself and Barwell, sort of serial winners, aren't they, in this championship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second year now with Evo 2. Wow, big damage on the rear right of that McLaren. You can see how it's sat. Um, that has pinged off the barrier. Look at the uh, the tyre marks all the way across the grass. So this is what we saw at the start. You can see Plowman in the middle of Clutton and McLeod gets past Clutton. Then McLeod gets a little bit of the back of Smalley, which then makes him run wide. Plowman 
it's going to get traction. Then look at that. Robertson, did he get help from the Ginetta there? Hard to say. Spinning across, avoiding action. The McLaren, the race lab one first. Then Albert gets hit by the Mustang. It was all Constantino and Robertson spinning across the track. I don't know if he was helped or not is the hard bit to say there. Matt Nickel jones car owner, team owner and driver. When it goes wrong, as all three of those job roles, it's uh, not going to be a good weekend, is it?